Now what about this problem where we're integrating cosine of x over 6 sine squared x plus 7 sine x? At first glance, it doesn't look like we could use integration by partial fractions since we don't have a rational function. But look, if we make a substitution, let u equal sine of x, then du will be cosine of x dx, and then our problem becomes the integral of 6u squared plus 7u, and what we have left here, cosine of x dx, is actually just equal to du. And now we do have a rational function where the degree of the denominator is larger than the degree of the numerator. So that means that now we're ready to decompose 1 over 6u squared plus 7u. If we factor out a u in the denominator, we have u times 6u plus 7. So what we have here is a linear factor u and another different linear factor 6u plus 7. So that means that this can be decomposed as a over u, the first linear factor, and b over 6u plus 7, the second linear factor. Now if we put both of these over a common denominator, that common denominator will be u times 6u plus 7, and we'll have a times 6u plus 7 in the numerator plus b times u. Now we have two expressions that have the same denominator, which means that their numerators also have to be equal. So that means that 1 equals a times the quantity 6u plus 7 plus b times u. And now we just need to find out what a and b are. So one way we can do this, since we can let u have any value, is to choose u equal to 0. Then on the left hand side we have 1, and the right hand side we just have 7a, which means then that a is equal to 1 7th. To find b, let's equate the coefficient of u on the left with the coefficient of u on the right. The coefficient of u on the left hand side of the equation is just 0. The coefficient of u on the right hand side of the equation is going to be 6a plus b. And now since we know that a is 1 7th, that tells us that b has to equal negative 6 sevenths. So now we're ready to integrate. So now our integral becomes the integral of a over u so 1 7th over u plus b, which is negative 6 7 over 6u plus 7. Yeah. And these are things that we can integrate. Here we'll have 1 7th, the natural log of the absolute value of u, minus 6 7 and here we'll have 1 6 times the natural log of the absolute value of 6u plus 7. And if you can't do that in your head, then you could do a little substitution off to the side, letting w equal 6u plus 7, or you could factor out a 6 if you wanted to. So now, let's just simplify this a little bit. We have 1 7th ln the absolute value of u minus, and the 6's cancel, 1 7th ln the absolute value of 6u plus 7, plus a constant of integration, and before we're done, we need to do the back substitution and have the answer in terms of x. So remember that u is equal to sine of x. So everywhere we have a u in our solution, we simply replace it with the sine of x. So we have the following as our final answer. Now because uh, we have the same uh, coefficient in well, you can set the same and now if we wanted to rewrite this as a single term, what we could do is factor out 1 7th, and we'd have the natural log of the absolute value of sine of x minus the natural log of the absolute value of 6 sine of x plus 7. 
and then combine these two terms using laws of logarithms to give us 1 7th times the natural log of the absolute value of sine of x over 6 sine of x plus 7. So that's just another form of the answer. Yes.